Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example from circles. Now this is a little different kind of question because it involves multiple choice. So there are four options and we have to choose one out of the four. So let us understand the question first. In the figure above, PQR is a triangle in which the side PQ is equal to the side PR. A circle passes through the point Q and touches PQ at point T and intersects PR at point S. If S is the midpoint of the side PR, find the value of PQ in terms of PT. So this is one of the option. We have to find out a relationship between the side PQ and PT. Now let us start with the given information first where it's mentioned that PQ is equal to PR. So let us write here PQ is equal to PR as given in the question. The next thing they have given is if S is the midpoint of PR. So if S is the midpoint of the side, this point divides the entire side PR into two equal parts that is PS and SR. So we can write here the part PS is equal to the part SR. So we can now write the side PR as 2 times the part PS because PS is equal to SR. So we can write it as 2 times PS. Now once we have got this, let us substitute in place of PR 2 times PS. So here let us write PQ is equal to 2 times PS. That is we have replaced PR with its value 2 times PS. Now we can also write PS as half of PQ. That is by taking 2 on the other side of equal to sign. So let us write here 1 over 2 times PQ. So let us consider this as equation. One. Now once we have got this, we have to try to make a relationship between PT and PQ. For this we have to use a theorem. So let us understand the theorem first. The theorem is called as intersecting secant tangent theorem. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle. And there is a tangent AC which touches the circle at only one point C. So we call it as a tangent segment. And here we have secant. Secant is a line which cuts the circle at two points. So here the secant cuts the circle at the points B and D. And this secant BD we have extended it so it meets the point A which is exterior to the circle. So this extended part is called as exterior secant segment and this whole length which is the secant plus the extended secant is called as a whole secant segment. Now let us see what the statement is. If a tangent and a secant are drawn to a circle from an external point then the square of the length of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the length of the whole secant segment and the exterior portion of the secant segment. So here we have A as the external point and through this we are going to draw a tangent called AC and through the same external point we are going to draw a secant. So if we have this we have to make use of this formula where tangent segment square that is AC square is equal to the product of exterior secant segment which is AD in this case and the whole secant segment which is AB. So let me write over here tangent segment is AC here so we will write it as AC square is equal to exterior secant segment which is AD times the whole secant segment which is AB. So let us find out if we can use this theorem to solve the example above. So here let us consider the point P. This is the external point through which we have drawn a tangent PS 
and through the same external point we have drawn an extended secant segment that is PT acting as an external secant segment and PQ as a whole secant segment. So using the theorem we can write here PS square that is the tangent segment square is equal to the exterior secant segment which is PT times the whole secant segment which is PQ. Now in this case we have to find out a relationship between PQ and PT. We do not need PS. So we are going to substitute in place of PS its value which we got it as 1 over 2 times PQ. So let me substitute here 1 over 2 times PQ. Now this whole thing is getting squared is equal to PT times PQ. Now 1 over 2 squared gives you 1 over 4 times we are going to square the PQ as well. So PQ squared is equal to PT times PQ. Now let us divide on both the sides by PQ. So here let us divide by PQ and here also let us divide by PQ. So PQ cancels and here 1 PQ cancels at the numerator. So we are left with 1 over 4 times PQ is equal to PT. So if we take the 4 on the other side of the equal to sign, we get PQ is equal to 4 times PT. So the value of PQ is 4 times the length of PT. So that is going to be option C. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.